Hello dear friends, I'm Puyo and this is the Crypto Earner channel. In this channel I introduce best crypto games, projects and airdrops. So if you're interested in making money online, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Today I want to introduce a triple A play to earn game, Forgotten Runiverse or Forgotten Runes. This game is already in its open beta phase and you can play it for free. First. Let me show you the earning mechanisms of this game and after that I will talk more about the game details. I will put the registration link in the description and pinned comment. You can click on it and sign up using an email address. After that you can see your main dashboard like me. The first step after registration is to link your Ronin wallet to the game. You can connect your Ronin wallet here at my donuts section. Note that we earn donuts by playing the game and completing tasks. I will talk more about donuts, but first let me show you the wallet linking process. Here you can link your Ronin wallet. If you are using PC like me, you can install the Ronin wallet extension from Google Chrome Web Store and if you are using mobile, you can do these steps on your Ronin Wallet browser. You can download Ronin Wallet from Google Play. I will put the download link of Ronin Wallet in the description. And there is one more important tip. You need a little Ronin coin for transaction fees. Less than 50 cents or even less is enough. I will show you the transactions. Transaction fees are much less than one cent, but you need to pay them to mint your cards and on-chain assets. Know that you can sell on-chain assets in the market, so I think it's worth it. Here you can also connect your Twitter and Discord accounts. I recommend you to do this because there are a lot of social tasks here that you can complete them very easily. For example, by connecting your Discord and Twitter, you will get some donuts. By following their Twitter again, you will get some donuts. Note that it has not yet been specifically mentioned that these donuts will be converted into tokens in the future, but most likely they will be a very important parameter for the airdrop of this game. At the moment, you can sell your on-chain assets in the marketplace and earn money. This method is working right now and I will show how you can do this. But at this stage, all we know about the airdrop is that these donuts may be very important. So first, let's check how we can earn donuts. After that, I will talk about selling items. Here you can see the daily quests. You can complete the daily quests and earn cards. After that, you have to mint the cards in the game by paying a little run-in, less than one cent. Then you can place these cards in the temple and earn donuts. There is also another way to earn donuts. Every day you can click on the daily donuts button and connect your wallet. Then you can earn donuts by paying the transaction fee. As you can see, the fee is about $0.001, which is very low. After confirming the transaction, you will get some donuts. There is also a jackpot here. Donuts are given to 30 lucky players who complete daily tasks every day. The last way to earn donuts is to place your cards in the temple. As I said before, here I can place the cards in the temple and earn donuts by clicking on one of these chests. Now let's check the game to see how we can earn these cards and how we can earn money by selling on chain assets. First you need to register in the game's website. I will put the registration link in the description. After registering in their website you have to connect the same running wallet that you connected to the donuts website so that these two websites are linked together. Then you have to create a character for yourself and after that you can start playing the game. Let me show you the game basics. Here you can see the map. 
There are several regions or cities or whatever you want to say in this game. The main region is Hedge Wizard. You can buy items, spells, upgrade your equipment and do many more things in this region. At first launch, you're here, in a square like this. Let's check all buildings. The first building at your right is Forge. Here you can forge new equipment. For example, I can forge this weapon, Fearmonger. I've already one Fearmonger in my inventory, but I can create an extra one and place it in the temple to earn mana. Mana can be used to earn unchain assets. I will show you in details how you can earn mana and use it. First, let me forge an extra Fearmonger for myself. Here I can see its cost. You can gather all these resources for free by farming in different zones. I will show you. Let me forge this weapon. After a few seconds, I will get my weapon and I have three choices. Click on finish, equip my weapon or keep forging. Let me click on finish. Now I have to talk about recipes. Know that each equipment requires a recipe and you can earn these recipes by simply defeating monsters in the game. After earning a new recipe, you can click on this machine and inscribe your new recipe. I already inscribed these recipes and I can forge all of them. Let me show how you can inscribe a new recipe. For example, I can click on this cap and inscribe it. Now I can create this cap in the forge machine. Know that inscribing recipes also costs you. Now let's check the next building. At the bottom of Forge building you can see the Mage Workshop. This building is very similar to the Forge building, but here you will create spells instead of equipment. You can inscribe the spells here and create them here. For example, I already inscribed these two spells and I can create them. Let me show you how I can create a new spell. First, I have to click on this machine to inscribe a new spell. For example, let me inscribe this. I have to pay for it. After that, I can go back to the Mage Workshop and create this new spell. Here I can see the specification of this spell. Deal high magical damage and frostbite an enemy. And here I can see its cooldown. The cooldown for this spell is 4. It means after using this spell, I have to wait 4 rounds to use it again. I will show you the battles. Battles are very simple, don't worry about them. Here I can see the cost of this spell and by clicking on the enchant button, I can enchant it. After a few seconds, this spell will be created for me. Now I can equip this spell. By clicking on this button, I can equip my new spell. As you can see, I already have three spells. You can also equip your equipment here at the last tab. For example, you can equip your desired weapon here. Okay, now let's check other buildings. Here at the bottom of Mage Workshop, you can see the training grounds. At the beginning of the game, you come to this building to train. Next building is the Font of Memory, at the bottom left of the map. Here you can spend your mana to get Unchain Assets. This is the main building for earning money in this game. But before using this building, you need to earn mana. You need at least 50 mana to get an item from this building. But how we can earn mana? Let me show you. We can earn mana from this building, Temple. We can burn our items for mana in the temple. But there is an important tip here. To unlock temple, you need to complete all quests in the hedge maze region. It's very simple. I will show how you can do it. First, let me show you how to earn mana. Let's go inside the temple. Here you can drag your extra equipment and earn mana by clicking on the make offering button. Know that you will get more mana by offering higher rarity equipment. After earning mana, you can use mana to ask for blessing in the Font of Memory building. After that, you will get unchained items. 
then you can see your items here at the inventory section and you can mint them. Again, you need some run-in to pay for transaction fee. After minting, you can click on this view in market button. You will be redirected to SkyMewis, official run-in market. Here, first you have to log in with the same run-in wallet. After that, you can list your item and below you can see the current price of your item. For example, some people listed it with 9 cents, but know that this item is very common. You can earn more rare items and sell them up to $70 and even more. Okay, now let's check the hedge maze region. This region is for level 1 to 2 players. As I said before, you need to complete this region's tasks to unlock temple building. You can simply talk to these NPCs or non-playable characters and complete their quests. There are four NPCs here. Their tasks are very simple. For example, you can complete one of their tasks by defeating these wolves. Let me show you the battle mechanism. Here you can see your spells. When your character reaches the blue area, you can cast a spell and you can simply use your spells to defeat the monsters. These plus signs shows the resources. You can gather them by clicking. There is also a bus in each area. You can see the bus of this area at the top left. When you see this dust, it means that others are fighting. Let me wait to show you the bus. Okay, this is the bus. You need to defeat this bus to complete one of the quests. Let's see the gameplay. Okay, at last, let me talk about daily quests. You can see the daily quests in the Donuts website. By clicking on them, you can see the tasks in your journal. Then you have to complete it and get its card. After that, you can mint the card, place it in the temple in the Donuts website and earn some donuts. Note that in this phase, they have only 13 quests until day 13th you can complete these tasks. At the time of video recording, we are in the fifth day. Okay guys, I hope this video was useful for you. If you are interested in making money from crypto games projects and airdrops, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if this video was useful for you, please like it. You can earn money from these two games too. So don't miss them. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.